So for today, we're going to be looking at the new ornaments that the hunters got. Don't worry, Titan and Warlock, you guys do have your own separate videos that I will be making shortly. But to start off, we're going to be doing the hunter because I think the hunters got one of the best ornaments in the game. I'm not even kidding when I say this. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So again, do me a favor, sub, like the video, comment. It all really does help. And you guys have been blowing up the channel recently. So I really do appreciate y'all. You guys are really helping me and motivating me to make more content for y'all. So keep up the great work and I'll, let's just get into it. Hunters, we're going to be looking at Assassin's Cow and the Six Coyote. Now, I do think the Six Coyote ornament is the best, which is why I'm going to be reviewing it last, because obviously the best is for the last. But let's get into Assassin's Cow. So when I say the Six Coyote is the best ornament, I mean that in like out of 100, the Six Coyote ornament is like a 90. And the Gilded Memento, which is the Assassin's Cow ornament, I'd give that like an 80. It's that close. So don't 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 think I don't like the Assassin's Cow ornament. I think it's actually really fucking cool too. I just personally think the other one's a lot better. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the ornament and how it shaders, and then we'll do an example set for it. Pretty much how you usually expect some of my videos to go. I think the Assassin's Cow ornament looks amazing. I think it's one of the best ornaments that the, the hunters have for the helmet. I do think Blight Ranger looks a lot better, but Blight Ranger is straight hot garbage compared to Assassin's Cow, which is actually viable as fuck. So once Blight Ranger gets better, then that might be a really cool competition to see which one is the better choice. But overall, this is easily one of the best ornaments in the game for the hunters, specifically for the helmet. I think it just looks amazing. As for how it shaders, it shaders really well, thank God. As you guys can see from Echoed Anger, it takes the other color, not the red, which I think is a really smart choice. Although I think if it was inverted, it'd be a lot better actually, because the red would be, mm, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. For Abyssinian Gold, it's gonna look pretty boring with it because Abyssinian Gold doesn't have like an actual gold to it. So instead of the brown, you have the black for the, for the, uh, for the jewels and whatnot, which isn't bad. It's just, I think the brown really kills it for me. And for Sato Tribe, it looks amazing. I think it looks super, super cool. I probably would never use it with Sato Tribe just because I think it's gonna look better with gold, which speaking of which, the example said I'm using gold and let's get into it. So for the helmet, obviously Gilded Memento is what we're using. For the arms, we're using the Illuminous Grasps Majestic without the glow. And the chest piece, we're using the Nemean Cuirass specifically because of the ornaments. Uh, or the ornamentation of it. It looks very like has a lot of engravings. It's super extra. But another reason I'm using it is because when you combine it with Strides of the Great Hunt, the chest piece has like this brown like cloth to it. And the boots also has that cloth to or black cloth. Did I say brown? I meant black cloth. And it actually connects really well with the Strides of the Great Hunt. So it kind of looks like the boots start off with armor and then cloth and the chest piece continues the cloth and then you get more armor. So I think that combination is really good, which is why I'm using Strides of the Great Hunt. And then for Vernal Growth Cloak specifically because the trim is gold and I wanted a little bit more red to this look because it does have red and the Vernal Growth has really good red on the top of the hood. Unfortunately, the back is actually white. So I would have liked to see red on all of it, but I mean, I'll take what I can get overall. I think the hunters ate really well with this season's ornaments because both of them are actual fire. And speaking of which, let's actually just look at the next one. So six coyote is actually one of my favorite exotics in the game, like actually because I use it a lot and because it's really good for survivability, specifically if you pair it with void. Well, at least back in the day, I don't know about now because I haven't been using it, but for the six coyote, we actually ended up getting the uh, Volkhund. I think that's how you say that Vol Volkhund. Uh, it's, it is a Viking themed armor set. And let me just say, we need more Viking themed armor in the game now, because I'm going to be, I'm going to be using this. I'm, I'm really thinking about just buying this outright, which is really rare for me. I have not bought anything from Eververse since the only time I can remember was for Warmind. I think that was the last time I actually got something specifically the helmet for the Wormhust crown, the ornament, I ended up buying that outright. So 
it says a lot for me to actually want to buy this like outright so let's actually just look at it for it looks amazing this it has fur which is definitely what you want to see from just armor sets in general i think fur is really good on on destiny 2 armor but you also have like the it looks like Jormungandr. I think his name is Jormungandr, the uh, the world snake. Jorming, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Jormungandr. At least that's I, I I'm pretty sure that's Jormungandr on the side of the uh, or yeah the side of the armor. I love the fact that this has fur. The rope on the right side looks really good. Hell, even the back looks amazing as well with the fur at the back and the rope just continuing to like hold you. I think it just looks amazing. Like overall uh hunters ate really well this season for ornament and it's unfortunate because i want to buy this one and i it goes against my my code i guess you would say but it looks so fucking good as for how it actually shaders it, it's positive and negative because i do love the fact that the shader actually changes the fur color because I don't want it. I don't want it to be a situation like the Titan where their Ursa Furiosa has two ornaments and none of them change the shader of the color or of the fur. So I do think that's a positive. It's just unfortunate that sometimes the shader situation is pretty bad. So as you guys can see from Echoed Anger, it turns it red, which is fine. Uh, you, I think you would expect it to turn red from Echoed Anger. But then you get to like Abyssinian Gold, and it gets dark mind you it's not like super super dark but when you see it from afar it actually does not seem like fur and then you get to sato tribe and you're just like that's not fur anymore because once you look at again this is from the character screen so it, you're arguing you're, you're gonna see it a little bit better but when you see it from like afar it does not look like fur at all so just be aware of that as for the example set i ended up going hard with this set and using one piece I've never thought I've used, I'd use in my life. So for the helmet, we're using the Veritas Cow. This one is, so the helmet's probably gonna be the only piece where you can switch it with literally anything you want. It's just that I think the Veritas Cow looks a little bit better and it does have cloth on the bottom, which I liked a lot. Personally, I would have liked to use the uh, Iron Banner ornament from season two. I think that would have been a lot better because the insignia on the on the top of the helmet actually changes color and you have like a, almost like a bandana for the bottom piece and it looks really cool so unfortunately i don't have that because i started playing in warmind on pc so and i did switch from ps4 so unfortunate times for me but you know what can i do for the arms i'm actually using the canis luna grips I never thought in my life I'd ever use these sets uh, or any set or any piece from this set aside from the helmet and the cloak. The reason I'm using the Canis Luna grips is because the armor pieces actually gives off a Nordic look, at least for me. It's probably one of the more better sets if you want to go for a Nordic look. For the boots, Iron Fornit Runner Strides is an easy choice. Like I did not have to think about this like in the slightest. I think it's the best choice. Okay, so I do think the better choice in this situation is to have the same color for the for the boots as the chest piece, because if you guys see the, ch the chest piece right now, you guys do see in the belt, it's white. That actually changes colors with the boots as well. So I think the better choice would have been to just stick to either Gambit Celadon for the boots or Iron to Steel for the chest piece. So that way I can match the boots and the chest piece. So that way I can have I can retain the the chess piece is, uh, you know, the green for instead of the white. Other than that, I think it's fine. For the cloak, we're using Mantle of Effort Deep specifically because A, I want to I wanna have fur. Like, fur is an important piece for me in this set. So, it was an easy choice to get Mantle of Effort Deep, but you could also use the Season of the Splicer Activity Armor set, specifically the Lightkin Cloak. That would have been better as well because the whole thing is cloak. My only thing is, it doesn't look good with this set. I tried it, I just didn't like it too much. So for me, Mantle of Effort Deep was the easiest choice because I wanted the black fur. Be, be sure you choose the right one because there is a black one and a white one. I think the black one just looks a lot better. So overall, this is one of my favorite sets that I've made. I probably would switch out the arms and maybe the helmet. Maybe the arms because I do like how the arms look or maybe I just switch out the shader make maybe maybe the shader choice would be a bit better But 
let me know what you guys think hunters are you guys gonna pick this up let me know in the comments below i am th i'm thinking real hard to pick this up because it looks so fucking good but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me in the social media outlets links are in the description y'all have been blowing up the channel and i appreciate y'all and i'll see you guys later